Huawei's new Watch 3 Pro is for me one of the nicest looking smartwatches for one month. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and welcome to my one month after review of the Huawei Watch 3 Pro. The Huawei Watch 3 Pro arrives with a premium titanium body and a 22mm standard strap. It feels classy and looks amazing. Luxury watches usually weigh a lot, but the Watch 3 Pro just weighs around 63 grams without the strap. The biggest difference between the Watch 3 Pro and the Watch GT2 Pro is the operating system. It's now running Harmony OS 2.0 and brings many new features. The Watch 3 Pro supports Wi-Fi connectivity, comes with NFC in global markets and can connect to a mobile network on its own. There is an eSIM module inside that allows cloning the smartphone SIM card through the Huawei Health app. An eSIM can easily be added through Huawei Health, but I don't really need that feature and I don't want to pay extra monthly for it with my provider, but if you want it, it's super easy to get it on the watch. I will not talk too much about workout tracking in this video as we covered this ground already, but just to recap, it has all-day SPO2 tracking, heart rate monitoring, over 100 workout modes, GPS tracking, sleep tracking, skin temperature measurement, air pressure sensor and last but not least, it's waterproof. Talking about being waterproof, I did a pool test for you. I shower every day with the watch and there are no issues, so also swimming in the pool is safe as the watch is waterproof up to 5 ATM. It can also track very well swimming activities and shows not only the length, calories and heart rate, it gives you a full overview over your swimming style, stroke rate and much more. It really makes sporty swimming a lot more fun and enjoyable. After the pool or shower, you can easily drain the water with the drain mode to get your speakers free. Also, the GPS is really nice as it allows you to leave your smartphone at home during workouts and also there's a map built in in the tracking mode, so if you get lost after a long walk or run, you can use the watch to navigate home. That's pretty awesome. But it will just show you the same route home as you took already, but hey, it's still great. Also regarding music, you can leave your smartphone at home. You can easily pair Bluetooth headphones like the FreeBuds 4 to the watch and use the watch to listen to music. It's very simple to pair, you just press the button on the FreeBuds, you hold it until they are in pairing mode and then you just connect through the watch to the headphones. Then you can listen to music either with Huawei Music or the free service eSound or you can just copy some music to your watch. But of course, if you don't synchronize the playlists or copy some music to the watch, you need to have an eSIM connection to stream music or just you have to take your smartphone to have a hotspot. But you can also download music to your watch for offline use. Now Huawei is quite famous for great battery life of its wearables and the Watch 3 Pro can achieve up to 21 days, but up to. When Wi-Fi is on and the eSIM is connected, NFC notifications pop up and the always on displays on, the battery life is just over 3 days. But that's still quite good for the 790mAh battery. You can also for emergencies switch to ultra power saving mode that limits most of the features of the watch but it's great to extend the battery life. There's a magnetic 10W wireless charger in the box, but to be honest, I don't use it at all. Because the Huawei Watch 3 Pro can be charged with pretty much every QI charger, which is an amazing feature, as you don't need to always bring a charger. The charging time is around 3 hours for the cell to fill up from 0 to 100%. I think for a watch with those features, it is pretty good. I used to have an Apple Watch Series 6 and the battery lasted maximum 1.5 days and I really hated that. I went for many walks to see how accurate the tracking is and my conclusion is, it's very good. There are no straight lines like interpolation in the GPS and it shows really every single curve I took and that tells me it's getting the GPS part done pretty good. So for sports tracking, my conclusion is, it does a very good job and seems pretty accurate. However, I didn't compare it to any dedicated sports only trackers. But for me as a casual sports person, I'm very impressed. Harmony OS is improving, for now still on my version no NFC payments yet and the voice assistant, but I'm looking into that for the next videos. The app gallery has some more apps now, but it's still improving and getting more apps in the future. It has just been launched, so it will take some time until the app gallery is filled with apps. Now right now there are also some useful apps in there like Stowcards, SofaScore and more, but expect more in the future. 
Regarding notifications, for now notifications are good enough for me. You cannot write back, but notifications are structured and good to see. Anyways, I turned off most of the notifications for messengers because I think it's kinda disturbing and cuts on battery life. But you can choose that yourself in the notification settings. Overall, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro offers a compelling set of features that will make it a perfect companion to a large number of people. It does everything I loved on the Huawei Watch GT2, but also adds the standalone mode that lets you leave your smartphone at home. And in both cases, it offers better battery life than most watches on the market. I will keep you updated with more in-depth tests, so stay tuned, and make sure to ask your questions down below what I should try out with the smartwatch. But as always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye!